Hello, my name is Cecily Capistran. I teach seventh grade science at Meadow Park and welcome to my Zoom room. Today, what we did in class, I'm really excited to be working on a Mount St. Helens project. They're doing an interpretive talk. And for this, they're making models and the models can be 3D models, they're paper mache, they're 3D printed, they're Lego models. I remember it vividly when I was a child. I was four years old when it erupted and it's local. It affected many of these people's parents. And I think this making it real and making what we're doing real, I think it's really fascinating, it's engaging. So I'm excited to work with that and kind of take it to the next level. I grew up in British Columbia, Canada on a hobby farm of 160 acres. We lived organic, but you never called it that. It was just going to the garden and getting food. So we had our animals, but we also built our own house. Building has always been around. As a farmer, you need something, there's a problem, you figure out a solution and you fix it. And that's just a way of life. My mom is white from Eastern Canada. My dad is black, grew up in Ohio. My husband is born and raised in Mexico. And so we're North American through and through and we love that. We speak English and Spanish in the home. There's so much richness in different backgrounds and culture and I think that's really valuable. And I think one of the things we miss it sometimes is we don't appreciate that. We don't honor it. And I think it should just be celebrated more. You can make more friends in two months by becoming genuinely interested in people than you can in two years by trying to get people interested in you. Dale Carnegie. So I love sharing books with the students because think and grow rich, what you put into your mind, self-talk is gonna greatly influence how you think and how you think will direct the direction of your life. And so if you can be focused on what you're thinking, and I think that's a gap. That's an area that's missing. There's certain populations that have access to that type of thinking. They have access to that type of reading, but that's not normal for everybody. And I think one of the things I can do is I can share that information. Science is important and it's us and it's understanding our life, but there's more to teaching. And part of it is helping students be successful in all areas of their life.